This time, China spent 1.6 billion yuan to blow up seven mountains and built a super airport on the top of the mountain at an altitude of 1,771 meters, known as the aircraft carrier in the cloud. The appearance of this project in China once again caused a sensation in the world. So how did China overcome all difficulties to build this airport? Let's take a closer look in this video. At present, China is undergoing major infrastructure projects. It not only has the world's largest expressway mileage, but also has the longest high-speed rail operating mileage. However, as an equally important transportation facility, the number of airports is somewhat insufficient. Although world-class projects such as Beijing Daxing International Airport and Chengdu Tianfu International Airport have appeared in recent years, if China compares with Western countries, it can be found that the number of domestic airports is too small and there are only a few hundred civil airports. While the United States has as many as 15,000 civilian airports. In this comparison, the gap is too great. In some areas of China, it is difficult to allocate funds to build airports due to insufficient economic strength, while in other areas, it is restricted by terrain, such as Wushan in Chongqing. Wushan is a famous tourist attraction, and it is close to the three gorges of the Yangtze River. It has rich tourism resources. Every year, a large number of tourists come here. However, due to inconvenient transportation, many passengers can only arrive by cruise ship. If an airport can be successfully planned here, then all domestic and foreign tourists can be sent to Wushan, thus greatly promoting the development of local tourism economy. If Beijing Daxing International Airport is famous all over the world for its architectural scale and innovative design, then the airport on the top of the mountain we are going to talk about in this issue can attract people's attention with its steepness and magnificence. This is Chongqing Wushan Airport, which invested 1.6 billion to build. It stands on the top of the mountain and looks like a cloud aircraft carrier from a bird's eye view. According to reports, the Wushan Airport project was officially open to navigation in August 2019. It is known as the Three Gorges Cloud Airport, and the flying dream of the people of the Three Gorges has officially come true. Wushan County is located in the hinterland of the Three Gorges Reservoir area, where the three mountain ranges of Daba Mountain, Wu Mountain, and Qiao Mountain meet. It has beautiful mountains and rivers and rich tourism resources, but its economy is still relatively backward due to inconvenient transportation. Many people have lived in the mountains all their lives and have never seen the outside world. All this will change due to the opening of Wushan Airport. The 2.6-kilometer runway leads Wushan to the world. The complex terrain has caused inconvenient traffic in Wushan and even the entire northeastern area of Chongqing. Therefore, the airport has attracted the attention of the outside world since its construction. But people may not know how much effort the engineering team has to put in to turn the drawings into reality on the top of the mountains, surrounded by mountains. Difficulties in the construction of Wushan Airport The overall area of Wushan Airport has reached 2,698 mu, and the area of the terminal building has reached as much as 3,500 square meters. Wushan Airport as a whole can accommodate a variety of aircraft to take off and land. Although the airport has only one runway, the length of the only runway is 2,600 meters and the width is 45 meters. The airport has also set up five parking spaces, which are fully capable of supplying the needs of the airport. 
Why does Wushan Airport have to be built on top of a 1,771.48 meter mountain, and why can't it be built lower? According to engineering experts, due to the uneven terrain and steep slopes in Wushan County, Chongqing, it is difficult to find a wide flat land even within the entire county. Because there is no flat land to build an airport, Wushan Airport can only choose to build on the top of the mountain. Even a 4C level regional airport needs to design an airport runway of sufficient length and also needs to design supporting facilities such as the terminal apron, so it is necessary to cut seven mountains, fill six valleys, fill the deepest reaches of more than 110 meters, and finally organize 3,000 acres of open flat land to be used as the airport foundation. Because the airport is located on the top of a deep mountain, the problem of karst caves was indispensable during the construction process, and more than 40 karst caves were encountered during the construction of Wushan Airport. Moreover, during construction, engineers must also overcome the difficulty of building height differences. But these were problems that can be solved for the Chinese engineering team. Looking at Wushan Airport from the air, the overall appearance of the airport looks like a mountaintop aircraft carrier, standing on the clouds of the Three Gorges. Wushan Airport is currently the highest civilian airport in Chongqing. Soaring above the clouds, the safety of aircraft at the airport is still very worrying. There are no obstacles or buildings around the airport. This means that the aircraft will be affected by unstable wind speed and direction when taking off and landing. Moreover, Wushan Airport is located in the Yangtze River Basin, which means that the plane will also encounter a series of bad weather such as smog. However, Chinese engineers have also taken care of such problems during construction, so there is no need to worry about the overall safety. The completion of Wushan Airport not only promoted the local economic development, but also provided a very valuable reference for the construction of airports in other regions. After all, southwest China is mountainous, and there is almost no flat land where an airport can be built. Even if there is, it has already been used for other purposes. Therefore, for cities with airport construction needs, they can choose the Wushan model and start construction directly on the top of the mountain. Moreover, compared with the airports in plain areas, the mountaintop airport still has many advantages. First of all, the terrain is high, so there is no need to worry about the surrounding buildings affecting the takeoff of the aircraft, and the pilot has a very good view. Secondly, because it is far away from the urban area, there will be no serious disturbance to the residents when the plane takes off and lands. Finally, it is possible to avoid troubles such as land acquisition. After all, if the government chooses to use flat land to build the airport, it is likely to occupy farmland, and compensation for demolition alone may require a large amount of expenditure. Therefore, the mountaintop airport will also gain the favor of more and more cities. For the outside world, a small county with an annual GDP of 20 billion may think it is not worth spending so much money to build an airport. But it is really necessary for Wushan to build global tourism. Because half of Wushan's GDP comes from the tertiary industry, it is really necessary to create perfect transportation and let more tourists come in. For Chengdu Wushan, the completion of this airport is of great significance. The air route, the tourist bus on the ground and the cruise ship on the Yangtze River can form a three-dimensional tourist transportation system, attracting more tourists to enjoy the wonderful scenery of Wushan area from three angles of air, ground and water. The positive feedback and good word of mouth formed in this way will certainly be able to build the reputation of this scenic spot nationwide.
thereby attracting more tourists. More convenient transportation can convert more potential tourists into tourists who actually come to travel and better promote the development of the local economy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.